The last window of opportunity for Germany. Oh! Oh my God! An inspirational moment from Tony Kroos. I guess our Virgen de Guadalupe prayer worked out yesterday. And dare I say it, I don't think we're ever going to get this card, but by golly, please EA, pl pl why wasn't he released today? El Virgen de Guadalupe. La Virgen de Guadalupe. What's up, boys, and welcome to the 93 Flashback Tony Cruz Back from the Dead Players Wave View Episodia. That is right. Uh, this card was leaked, I believe, on Saturday. It didn't come out on Saturday. It didn't come out on Sunday. It didn't come out on Monday, for that matter, even though we got basically nothing yesterday. Uh, and then, lo and behold, on a Tuesday, EA go ahead and they hit that switch and drop the 93 Tony Cruz, which obviously is one of my favorite cards. Uh, one of the only lone bright spots for me being a German national team supporter, that, uh, that free kick, the layoff from Royce and then just the reaction. I mean, if you guys didn't see the video, here's my reaction to that goal. Oh! Oh my God! I guess you could say, yeah, for me, this is personal. But today, boys, we're going to take a look at this 93 Tony Cruz coming in around 330, 340,000 coins, depending on the console, which is a very, very steep asking price. You do have to have some sort of attachment to the card, whether it be fully, uh, whether a very heavy La Liga side, or you're putting you're putting together like a fun German side, maybe like a past and present uh, Bayern or something like that, or you got his silver, uh, his Felix Cruz, his silver brother, uh, bat back in the Bundesliga. Uh, but there needs to be quite a reason for you. This isn't an SVC that you do want to win. This isn't an SPC that you go, oh, it's a 93 rated Tony Cruz, unless, you know, you've got a, an account loaded with coins and you uh, literally, uh, money is no value to you. But for those of us, for the, for the common man, for most of us, we really have to decide nowadays whether we're going to complete a 250, 300,000, 350,000 coin SPC card. Um, and that's exactly what we're going to find out today with Tony Cruz. I know I'm going to do this on the RTG. He's one of my favorite players of all time. Absolute star. The thing I love about Tony Cruz, he's one of those guys that does all the right things. He puts in the work and he just, you never really hear much about him. And the, the, the reason that you don't hear much about him is just because that's kind of the way that I haven't had my coffee. Allow it. I haven't had my coffee today, bruv. My mind's a little bit too bolo. Let's just dive right into the episode, yeah, boys. You already know what it is. Smash like on the video if you guys do enjoy the episode. Yeah. Smash like if you're going to do the Cruz SPC. Smash like if you're not going to do the Cruz SPC. Smash like if you're just happy that we ended up getting him and he didn't fall to the wayside like the Footmas, Gabriel Jesus, and all the other SPC cards that never ended up coming to fruition. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Now, we don't even really need to compare him to his base card because the reason that you would get this card, three star, five star, he already had that. Medium, medium, he already had that is that right there. The plus 23 sprint speed and then the plus 26 acceleration over his base card with the shadow chem style. Those goes up to 92 and 85 respectively. One of the fastest Tony Cruz, car uh, Cruz cards we've ever had uh, in the game. Now, one thing I do like to check out, what is uh, what is this a flashback to? You know, sometimes they'll, uh, they'll tell us what this flashback is. Um is for uh flashback to his prolific 2017 2018 season i mean i would go so far as to say every season's been prolific but yeah agreed very very good season for him there uh attack positioning 98 shot power with 94 long shots he's got the five star weak foot volleys for days finishing for days attacking positioning passing stats this is one of the best passing cards in the game 94 vision 97 short pass 97 long uh, pass 92 uh crossing even has free kick accuracy even has 90 curves so passing stats you're gonna be able to drop dimes you're just literally just gonna be able to drop uh, uh drop passes on a dime uh, anywhere on the pitch dribbling stats 94 ball control with 94 reactions 85 dribbling with 93 composure agility is 80 but that's fine usually i would you guys know me i love myself a little bit of uh, a little bit of agility on any card uh but i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna to keep that at 80 just so we have the uh, defensive stats and then the uh, pace stats jacked off the most so it goes up to 97 interceptions defensive awareness goes over 80 standing tackle goes to 88 and then 87 stamina is fine 80 strength is decent traits don't know how he doesn't have like outside the foot shot if he's got five star weak foot why not give him outside the foot shot i mean like okay maybe not finesse but give him at least outside the foot shot man what's the dilio uh, we've got Steven Gerrard in here at manager. Um, I don't know why I don't have full chem. Ah, yeah, it needs to be Lewandowski for the full chem. Let's see if this Tony Cruz card might just be worth the hovering around 350,000 coin price tag. Match number one, Busquets. Okay, men, men like Tony Cruz can depossess. Nice. Nice little bit of dribbling. First thing we like to test out is... Yeah, nice little ball control. Can you do the body feint? Of course you can. Three-star skill moves. Yeah, body feint masterclass. I dare you to try and get the ball for me. Ready? Yeah, I mean, like, he feels... 
Feels pretty nice on the ball. Just going left and left and right on the inlock stick. It, it's about as much as you can do with the Tony Cruz uh, in terms of uh, skill moves and stuff. Skill moves in that. That's FIFA 21. He's done it! Oh, that's Ivan! That's FIFA 21. Germany on the brink of a humiliating exit. And the Swedes on the brink of the last 16. Tony Cruz isn't going to be a guy that you break through and burn by guys. Right? Unless you have... Unless you have a seriously slower center back. The Meg pass. Another positive about the Tony Cruz SPC, he's here for 20 days, right? So, it, like, yes, it's 350k. For me, time available is a nice little, you know, for me, time available is a big deal, right? Because, you know, 20 days is different than six. Oh, no wonder. We were on the wrong tactic. Tony Cruz. Serge Gnabs. He's done it! Gotta have that, my guy. Tony Cruz. Got a little bit of burst. Lad's got a little bit of burst. Lad's got a little bit of strength. Inspirational moment from Tony Cruz. He's done it. That's peak Tony Cruz right there, ladies and gentlemen. That's peak Tony Cruz. If we could do that more often with Tony Cruz, that's exactly how you want to use that Tony Cruz card. Showcasing that dribbling stats. I mean, this might be, in terms of, uh, if we're talking about a card that wasn't usable for, uh, usable before. Come on, Serge. That's how we do it. 2-2. Two, two. 75th minute. This guy had my number. This guy had my number pretty much all game. We come back and we absolutely smash it in the 75th minute. We're getting the game winner here. Fraud, fraud in here. He's done it! Dude, that's the second meg pass that Tony Cruz has done. His passing is elite level. Was, was it an incredible performance? But, you know, uh, oftentimes if Tony Cruz is playing well for you, I don't think you're going to really even notice that he is playing well for you. So let's get into match number two. Let's see if we can get him a little bit more in an attacking situation. Yep. All right, so he's, got a, he's got, a little, got a little whip on the ball. There we go. Nice positioning. Nice, nice back heel pass. Nice fadeaway pass. Was that was that on? It's disgusting. I don't I don't feel good about that goal at all. An inspirational moment from Tony Cruz. Tony Cruz, was war das für eine Chance? Yeah, nice little body faint. Left in, lock stick dribbling. Can get it done. Right. Creates a little bit of separation. Please. Please. EA, please give us a patch where long shots... Uh, give us like a long shot mode. But why? What is this? What, what am I coming up against right now, dude? Maybe you know. An inspirational moment from Tony Cruz. Pass, Tony Cruz, let's go, boys. 1-0 against the Icon God Squad. Yeah, so, I mean, positioning is probably... The, the thing that stands out most about the card is the burst. Is the fact that he's got a little bit of a burst. Uh, obviously, usable in terms of sprint speed now. Um, he has himself really good positioning. Agility is noticeable, but I wouldn't say, like, crazy, crazy noticeable over the base card. Just because I don't think anyone's really trying to do crazy stuff with his base card as well. With the lats. 2-0. Serge Gnabry, let's freaking go. That's what I'm talking about. Positioning for Cruz. An inspirational moment from Tony Cruz. Okay, I think that's more FIFA than anything. Nice little body faint. See? 
He's getting frustrated. Tony Cruz can move, boys. In true keen fashion, Tony Cruz can freaking move, boys. All right, where is he? Tony Cruz. Hit a chicken freak. Yeah, see? And that might be the second yellow. Get him out of here, boys. Get him out of here, Roy Keane. That's what you get for... Yeah, I rage quit. Damn. Boys, Tony Cruz single-handedly made this guy pop out of the game. Yo, if you slept on that Serge Gnabry card, I feel really bad for you. Here we go, Tony Cruz. An inspirational moment from Tony Cruz. Well, when they're down, when they are Cruz will go for it and score! An inspirational moment from Tony Cruz. Tony Cruz. Entschuldigung, well, ich hab deine Frage. Down. Wie hast du das gemacht? Nice, there we go, Tony Cruz. Love it. Love it. Tony Cruz, there's, there's, there's that positioning I'm talking about. He, see, he just always seems to be in the right place at the right time. Attacking wise, you gotta work a little bit to get him involved. It's like, you can't, you can't, like, I can't play the way that I want with Tony Cruz. That's really, it's a really sad part of FIFA 21, dude. I can't play the way that I want with Tony Cruz. He provides himself a goal and assist. Uh, he gets himself six out of six tackles one. So from a defensive uh, box to box mid uh, standpoint, he was just absolutely incredible. Obviously gets himself a 9.2. Uh, and like I said, the goal and then the assist. It's like, I just want to go in. I just want to rip some long shots, bro. But this is peak Tony Cruz right here with the agility. Look at the strength and then the blast. We weren't able to really uh, rip any long shots. We almost had one that went through, and had that gone through, that would have been absolutely one of the most... Uh, that would have been easily one of the best long shots that we've taken in FIFA 21. I don't think it's a must-do SBC by any means. I know I say that quite often, and it almost sounds like a scapegoat type thing to say with, uh, with an expensive SBC like this. But again, I think you really do need an emotional connection to Tony Cruz to be able to do this one. I think in terms of total in-game stats among midfielders, he's all the way down, like, number 23 or 24. And for this price, you would expect that, and for, uh, for, the, for the time that this SBC is coming out you would expect that to be a little bit higher so for that value uh i'm gonna go ahead and i'm going to give him a three out of five in terms of value on the infinity gauntlet in terms of on the pitch performance i gotta give it a four out of five man he was positioning wise was the most notable thing that i that, that popped out about this card is everyone gonna have to do this one no 340,000 coins that's not cheap uh and again you have to be running a german side maybe a, an emotional bundesliga side or la liga uh have to be heavily invested in la liga or maybe he he's the he's the card that gives you the chance to branch into uh La Liga Santander but that's gonna do it for the episode here boys if you guys have gotten your hands on this Tony Cruz card let me know and again the positioning is the thing that really pops for me it's the one thing that really noticed uh, is is the x factor if you will on the card um, let me know how he plays for you if you guys have unlocked this card if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button down below if you guys did enjoy hit that uh, hit that like button now catch you guys per usual for another episode here tomorrow we'll catch you guys for a stream later tonight till next time my bros choose later a day